The United Nations has said that it is worried by the latest developments in Sudan. The coup leader, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, has appointed himself as the head of a new sovereign council. Burhan is tightening his grip on power two weeks after he led a military takeover that removed the civilian transitional government. The leader of the feared paramilitary rapid support forces, Mohamed Hamdan Degalo, retains his post as deputy. The United Nations has called for a return to a joint military and civilian governing structure. We're obviously taking a look uh, at these developments. Uh, I would say they're very concerning. Uh, we want to see a return uh, to the transition as quickly as possible. Uh, we want to see the release uh, from house arrest of Prime Minister Hamdok, as well as all other uh, politicians and, and leaders that have been detained. Well, shortly after that announcement from the general, anti-coup demonstrators began barricading streets in and around the capital, Khartoum. People had burned tires and prevented vehicles from passing. There have been rolling pro-democracy protests all across Sudan since the, since the army sorry, assumed power in late October.